childhood obesity problem in Ireland is enormous. There are children on breathing support machines overnight because they are so big that when they're asleep, their chest walls aren't moving enough. Clearly, diet plays a role in this obesity epidemic. But when it comes to sugars, do we understand enough to make proper choices for our children? Is the packaging from food companies giving us clear enough information? We all know about sweets and coke, but it's the other things that we can't sometimes spot that can cause an awful lot of damage, especially when you think it's a healthy thing and then you're consuming it in large amounts. We took children's drinks as an example and set up an experiment to find out exactly how much we know about their sugar content. No, There's nothing I wrong with any of these products. We just wanted to see if people looked beyond the messages that the manufacturers emphasize. What I want to ask you to do is to arrange these products in order of their sugar content per 100 mils, you know, so if you put the sweetest one here and the least sweet there. I think I'm going to pull that last. Okay, I'll tell you the actual order is that has the most sugar. Oh, but no, fruit sugar, Innocent. but it's sugar. Okay, I'll put um, Down here, there, and you can see, and the actual is second. God. Does that surprise you? Yes, very much so. These are in my kids' lunchbox every day. So that really surprised me. With all of these? Yeah. The information, the sugar content, yeah. it's on the side of the packaging. Would yeah. you ever read it? No. I wouldn't know what a high or low sugar content was. I think it's safe to let them drink smoothies as, mu as much as they want every day. None of these products are unhealthy in moderation, nor is sugar. Fresh fruit contains sugar in similar levels to juice. But our experiment is a clear indication of how little we really know about what's in the food we buy. It seems if we're told something is healthy, we don't ask any more questions promoting the fruit juices as the healthy option uh, is not telling the full story. Sugar is sugar no matter what form it comes in. Uh, so whether you take 10 spoons of sugar, dissolve it in water and drink it, or have apple juice, you are getting sugar. If people are drinking these, particularly children, uh, frequently throughout the day as snacks, you know, as drinks with their meals in between, they can get a hell of a lot of sugar in the diet that way. When you speak to dentists, the vast amount of sugar some children are taking in is made very clear. More than 3,000 children every year in the Dublin area alone undergo general anaesthetics to have teeth removed. Almost all due to decay caused by excess sugar. Occasionally we see cases where children have to have all of their teeth removed due to such a bad history of dental infection and decay and pain um, and it's not uncommon to have to remove all 20 baby teeth for a child maybe of only three years old so that can be obviously very upsetting for everybody involved. Mm. And some parents have no idea they're putting their children's teeth at such risk. It's those things that are marketed as very natural and very healthy and, and, and yet they can cause a lot of decay. I'm seeing a lot of mums who are giving their children fruit juice that is is marketed very cleverly as natural or no added sugar. That's a big problem for a lot of people. Evidently, we're not on top of our children's sugar intake. Is this partly because we're not getting clear enough information about sugar from the food industry? The marketing machine knows what works. Uh, if they can uh, promote a healthy kind of aura around a product uh, that makes the parents feel, well, this must be good or it looks good or it looks healthy, then uh, it's guilt-free buying.